Justin here. Today we are checking out Please Read the Letter by Robert Plant and Alison Kraut. Incredible duet uh, off the Rising Sand album if you don't know. It's absolutely gorgeous whole thing. Definitely worth a listen. Uh, One that I was only fairly recently discovered. I'm like, where have I been all these years? Anyway, uh, the song is mostly A, D and E chords. Need a little bit of a B bar chord or a B power chord there for one section. But it's a really good example of a song where actually a complete beginner can kind of muddle their way through most of it if they keep the strumming simple. But for more advanced guitar players, there's quite a lot of subtle stuff that you might want to dig into as well. So yeah, really, really nice tune for lots of different levels. Let's get to a close up. Check it out. On the most basic level, the intro is going A, one, two, three, four, to E, two, three, four, back to A, two, three, four, and two E, two, three, and into the verse, A, caught out running with a little E caught much to hide, back to A, maybe baby, every E's gonna turn out fine. Then it's D, read the A chord, I eat it to your door. It's D, how it A turned out, we eat it so much more. And then we're back to the little intro section. So basically we're just echoing between the E and the A chord. And you can play it that simply, but anyone who's fairly new to guitar would encourage you to play along with the original recording, just doing that really simple strumming, just strumming on the beat or the chord change if there are two uh, chords in the bar like we get there at the end of the verse. So just to recap, so it's just A to E for the intro, echoing between those two chords. And then the verses is A, two, three, four, and back to E two, three, four, it repeats that again, two, three, four, and E, two, three, four, and then it's D, two, A, four, E, two, three, four, again, two beats on D, two beats on A, and then four beats on E, two, three, four, and then back to the verse. Just doing that single strum on the chord change is a real good start. For, well, certainly you're going to want to jazz it up a little bit later, but let's get finish going through the chords before we tuck more into the rhythm stuff. So the next bit, part of it is this little R section. There's no actual lyrics there. I think I might have sung ooh in the little intro thing there. I should have got my oohs and ahs correct. But anyway, uh, and it's a B chord. So likely you're going to need a B power chord. There's a few different options here. So the most common approach to playing that B chord would be this uh, A-shaped B bar chord. We don't play the thicker string or the thinner string. First finger is just playing one note and third finger. 
plays uh, fourth fret strings two, three, and four. But most kind of beginners, even advanced beginners, are likely to struggle with that one. So there's a few good cheats. First, easiest one I don't think sounds as good is to use a B power chord. You can either just play the B power chord or include the open strings there. B power chord probably sounds most like the record, but there's another sweeter alternative as well that you might like to try out, which is doing the B chord up at the seventh fret. Now you could play the full bar chord one if you wanted to and just move it down to the A and back to the, to the B, or you could lift the bar, get those open strings. So, uh, To the next section so you could choose either the bar chord at the you know the a-shaped bar chord the power chord power chord with open strings bar chord or bar chord e-shaped bar chord with the open strings all of those would be acceptable alternatives it's up to your ear and your ability to choose which one of those ones you might like to try now in the main chorus part we're back to just e and a we just got half a bar of e half a bar of a so please read the letter that i wrote Read the letter that I wrote. So that little E A E A two bar sequence will happen either two times or three times depending on where you are in the song. Worth noting of course that there's a couple of different versions. The album version which is about five minutes long and a single version which is a bit over three minutes. Uh, the single version cuts out the second verse, the one about too late, too late, a fool could read the signs. That verse is missing like I did there in the intro but uh, I'm giving you the puzzle pieces here. It's up for you to listen to the original recording and then decide uh, where the puzzle pieces are going. Uh, other part I suppose that you need to know about is the little fiddle solo there uh, which is played over a verse but otherwise it's uh, the fiddle solo then a verse and then a, a double chord uh, the verse has a double uh uh, read the letter I wrote him. I see that little section there D A E for a bar uh, that part is doubled I think before going to another chorus but you, you, when you're learning this sort of stuff you've got to use your ears there to help you out with the form as well I'm hoping that uh, you're doing that already but let's talk a little bit more about some fancy strumming here so a really interesting part of this sort of tune is this keeping the hand moving even though you'd only be strumming on the one so even though I'm playing like one two three Four. One, two, three, four. I'm feeling the beat here. Actually, already a 16th note strumming. Two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one. So eight down strums to the bar here. One, and two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four. And quite noting that quite often I'm not going to be doing like a big motion like that. I'm just kind of, that's how I'm feeling it. My hand is going to be making those movements. That's really important if you're going to start adding some new things in because so long as your hand is moving consistently and in time, you could kind of put strums where you liked really. I don't wouldn't recommend like completely random things, but particularly with this song, you probably want to be doing like a little thing before the chord change. Like this, he's doing one, two, kind of thing. Now, a good step up to that, if you're not used to doing that kind of thing, will be playing 4, E, and, up. Uh. So down, up, down, up on beat 4. So you'd have 1, 2, 3, 4, E, and, a 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 1. Or you could miss out the down strum on 4 and just have E, and, a. Uh. So up, down, up. So 1, 2, 3, Four, e and a one, two, three, four. I'm down, I'm down. Two, three, four. I'm down, I'm down. Two, three, four. I'm down, I'm down. Now, on the original recording, I'm going to show you this little thing that I've, I've kind of worked it out. There's an electric guitar part that does this really nice line that kind of when it's on top of the acoustic has this nice effect you can kind of do an emulation of the acoustic guitar and electric guitar together uh doing it this way saying a two three four a and a one so it continues, the little uh, the embellishment continues into the new bar, which is a really kind of tasty thing to do. So, but I'm playing A. Now I'm using fingers two, three, and four here for that A. Uh, I would normally finger an A chord like that, but in order to get to the E chord nicely, I think this is probably a, a wiser fingering. So it'd be down, two, three, four, 
two, three, four, E and a one, E and two, three, four. So I'm just using my second and third fingers there, hammering down the middle, not hammering down, actually just playing the uh, second fret of the middle two strings. So full A chord, two, three, four, E and a one, E. have to do it right this is just a little optional thing there that uh, chord pattern comes up quite often at least if you get used to the idea of that you can play the same rhythm but without the little chords which i think is what the rhythm guitar is doing so he's just going a two three four and one Changing slightly late, I think, on the strumming. Two, three, four, E and a one. Keep the hand moving, you keep the strumming hand moving and move that chord a little bit late, it's, it's working out great. You, It's one of those things where you can count it and you can know what it is and that can be really helpful, but I think just sometimes just listening is a really good plan, a good way of, a better way, really, of learning this sort of stuff. So once you've got used to this idea of the hand moving consistently, that's when you can start to embellishing, putting embellishments wherever you like. So you know, I have the... Um, Caught out of running With a little too much to hide Maybe, baby Everything's gonna turn out fine Please read the letter I mailed it to your door it's crazy how it all turned out and needed so much more. Now that's too many really, but you get the idea. Just keeping that hand moving. Two, three, four. Same with the B. even sure that's exactly what's on the record it's just again it's the keeping the hand moving is the secret for doing all of this sort of stuff is getting that uh, it makes all the difference it means that you can if you can get the song into your musical imagination so you can hear it in your head you can get your hand moving you'll probably find that you can make your way through the tune pretty well and kind of improvise within the correct context obviously if you don't know the song you need to listen to the song enough to get the feeling of the song in you into your mind but uh once it's there you if you keep the hand moving and just kind of imagine let yourself imagine what it should sound like and hope that you can get your guitar sounding somewhat closer or close or exactly it to what you'd imagined i really hope you enjoyed this lesson i definitely need to do some more off this album but uh this one just struck me i could tell it was mostly e a and d and uh yeah i was actually hoping it was going to be all e a and d but i've forgotten there that little b chord there in the pre-chorus but uh yeah there's some cheats around it so great for like grade three level players uh see you for plenty more lessons very soon you take care bye bye